O God, when you went forth before your people, marching with them and living among them, the earth trembled, heavens poured down rain. Alleluia. Today's Mass is being celebrated for Father Evan Harkins and for Hannah Jaskowiak. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. To prepare our hearts to celebrate this Mass, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite heart, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners to repentance, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father where you intercede for us, Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who restore human nature to yet greater dignity than its beginnings, look upon the amazing mystery of your loving kindness, and in those you have chosen to make new through the wonder of rebirth. May, your, may, you, may you preserve the gifts of your enduring graces and blessings. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul and his companions set sail from Paphos and came to Perga in Pamphylia. John, however, left them and returned to Jerusalem, but they went on from Perga and came to Antioch in Pisidia. And on the Sabbath day they went into the synagogue and sat down. After the reading of the law and the prophets, the officials of the synagogue sent them a message, saying, Brothers, if you have any word of exhortation for the people, give it. So Paul stood up and with a gesture began to speak. You Israelites and others who fear God, listen. The God of this people Israel chose our ancestors and made the people great during their stay in the land of Egypt. And with uplifted arm, he led them out of it. For about 40 years, he put up with them in the wilderness. After he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance for about 450 years. After that, he gave them judges until the time of the prophet Samuel. Then they asked for a king. And God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, who reigned for 40 years. When he had removed him, God made David their king. In his testimony about David, God said, I have found David, son of Jesse, to be a man after my heart, who will carry out all my wishes. Of this man's posterity, God has brought to Israel a savior, Jesus, as he promised. Before his coming, John had already proclaimed a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was finishing his work, he said, what do you suppose that I am? I am not he, no, but one is coming after me. I am not worthy to untie the thong of the sandals on his feet. The word of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I will sing of your steadfast love, O Lord, forever. With my mouth I will proclaim your faithfulness to all generations. I declare that your steadfast love is established forever. Your faithfulness is as firm as the heavens. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have found my servant David. With my holy oil, I have anointed him. My hand shall always remain with him. My arm also shall strengthen him. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. My faithfulness and steadfast love shall be with him. And in my name, his name shall be exalted. He shall cry to me, you are my father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus Christ, you are the faithful witness, firstborn from the dead. You have loved us and washed away our sins in your blood. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had washed the feet of the disciples, he returned to the table and said to them, 
Very truly I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the ones who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. I am not speaking of all of you. I know whom I have chosen. But it is to fulfill the scripture, the one who ate my bread has lifted his heel against me. I tell you this now, before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe that I am he. Very truly I tell you, whoever receives one whom I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives him who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Friends, we find ourselves in today's gospel at the Last Supper. Jesus has just washed the feet of his disciples, and he gives them a little lesson on service. Here's how you serve. Do this. It's a good thing to do. And even at this sacred moment when he's washed the feet of the disciples, where he is instituting the Eucharist and celebrating his first Mass with with his uh, apostles, one of them is about to betray him. Even in that grace-filled moment, one of them is about to betray him. And he makes reference to that, right? It is the one who ate my bread has lifted his heel against me. This guy is going to betray me. Even in this incredible moment, not everybody is on board. And we see that all the time, right? Like sometimes the Lord's message and the Lord's church aren't always the easiest to follow, especially when it pierces our heart a little bit. And sometimes even in those grace-filled moments where we know God is calling us to greatness, where we know the right things we should do, sometimes there's still that little voice that causes us to want to veer off course or to go differently. And I guess the challenge for us in these times when that does happen is to resort to prayer. Lord, help me. Lord, this is tough, but help me. Now more than ever, we've got a lot of time to pray. We have a lot of time to put ourselves in the Lord's presence, to read his word, to lower down the volume of the rest of the noise out there in the world, and to simply ask him, to speak to us, ask him to speak to our heart. Those are the things we talked about this past weekend. We can do them. We can continue to do them because Jesus does have something he wants to say to you. He does have a truth that he's planted in your heart. He's calling you by name. He's calling you as one of his. And I know there's lots of things out there that can distract us and veer us off course. But let's stay close to him. And if it's especially hard to do that, ask him to help you do that. Lord, help me to stay close to you. Perhaps uh, when you go to bed tonight, that might be a very fitting prayer for you to say. Lord, help me stay close to you. Help me stay close to you. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Praise 
pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and never pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb, once slain, who lives forever. Therefore overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, the mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her chaste spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Alphonsus Liguri, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Ecce agnus Dei, behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Alleluia. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Separated from you, let me never be. From the wicked enemy, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Special shout out today to Bishop Daniel Meem, the Bishop of Peterborough, who today celebrates his ordination anniversary, so happy anniversary, Bishop. 
uh, brothers and sisters, let us pray for Bishop Meem and indeed uh, for all of our shepherds that they can continue to, to guide the church uh, with wisdom, justice, and charity. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thanks.